Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will see how to use when otherwise condition in PySpark. This is the Databricks notebook. I have created a data frame out of a file. This file has only two columns, employee name and salary. So from this very simple file we will see how can we apply when otherwise I mean applying some conditions to the data and how to create new columns okay we will see that so if you see here data frame one is already created so this file right it doesn't have header okay. this is the sample file if you see here there is no header here okay only the data is present so for that reason we have to mention like header equal to false so that it will not consider the first record as header and after this data frame 1 is created by reading this csv file you you can give the uh, column headers this way using the 2df method or you can use the schema both are same now df1.show if you see it has taken the names column names that we have given and it has printed and if you see here right there are some duplicates okay see there, there are some duplicate records let's clear off that records now uh, duplicates now drop duplicates method is used for uh, dropping the duplicates okay for entire row, row wise duplicates it will delete okay if you want any column wise uh, column wise in the sense for any in any column if you wanted to get the unique value then you can use distinct okay fine next so now we have the data now how to add a condition let's say if you wanted to add some if condition if the salary is greater than 50,000 then you can say that he is a senior position he is for senior position so how to write that we have the data frame here so take the data frame df3 we will say okay df3 equal to df2 dot we have to create a new column for the designation so using with column function is used for creating a new column or updating the existing column so based on the name you have given if you give the existing column it will overwrite if you are giving a new column it will create a new column here so with the column i just say like designation okay so now what is the designation based on the condition we have to do so for using any of the functions right like when or something let's import the functions library from pyspark.sql import functions as f okay we can actually say pyspark.sql.functions import when we can import individually as well but if you have more functions uh, are present to be used right then instead of uh, importing one by one you can do it uh, you can import the entire functions as f and you can use any function using that f dot okay so now f dot when what is the when condition that we have we have on the column salary so we have dot column so we should say right on which column we have to compare so here i'm uh, if you see the f dot column so greater than 50,000. 50, but here we cannot give this 50,000. sometimes it, it will not accept so you have to mention as that as literal value okay so which means that if the salary is greater than this value so for any string or integer directly you wanted to pass in a condition or in the uh, uh, populating value then you have to use that particular value inside the f dot lit if this is integer so i haven't given the double quotes if it is a string field you have to use like f dot list some string okay in the double quotes you have to mention so it will consider this as it will populate this as string okay so this is how we can use the literal values so now what are we saying if salary is greater than 50,000 then within the salary that when uh, is uh, that brace is getting closer right there you have to give the value so as I said we have to use the f dot literal value function right so for that what I am writing is 
it is a senior position okay otherwise so when the salary is greater than 50000 update the create a variable called column called designation and populate with the value senior position okay now what about the others which means that the otherwise else condition right this is if condition how you will put the other uh, else condition is inside this otherwise so what is the otherwise in the f dot lit it should print junior okay so this is how we can write the when condition when should end here okay see when should end here then otherwise and i yes this is correct then finally closing for the with column brace so now if you see here for the person who is having the salary is greater than 50000 the designation column has been created and the values are updated okay now the same way you can add any kind of condition here and you can pass the value so instead of like it is looking a bit messy right like uh, having the conditions and all that so what you can do you can just have some when condition something like that so you can have the same condition the same condition you can do like this and instead of this you can just pass instead of this entire thing you can just pass this when condition here okay this way it looks a bit better right instead of this entire because here this is a simple when condition i have only one condition it looks better but if you have some more conditions right then it will be difficult to accommodate everything inside this when condition i mean inside this brace so you can have all that and condition you can add any Uh, and or uh, some other condition then again if it is or then you can use the pipe symbol for or and you can write any number of conditions and pass this when condition variable here okay so this is uh, the way we can do next now now this is for integers uh, uh, populating or uh, some strings population something let's say you have a requirement where you have to check for a condition and populate whether true or false okay so actually you can do the same way for example if it is a senior position we have to populate it as false if it is junior position we have to populate it as true okay Let, let's uh, think that way then how do we, how can we write this we can write using that df2 like let me write it okay so that you can understand df2 dot with column is junior maybe okay some column and then when condition inside the when condition we have to give the column name which column we are checking designation is the column name so this designation column name we will check and now if the designation column name equal to equal to junior and as i said this junior we have to put it inside the literal Uh, function okay f dot lit function so that it will take this as a literal uh, string okay okay now when is getting closed and this is the close for this yes and otherwise we have to give the column where is it closing yeah so now if it is the case then populate it as f dot lit of f dot lit of true okay after when closes you have to put otherwise f dot lit of false okay so this is how we will write it but when you have just a very simple this okay let me run this okay you will understand so now let's put it as show i'm not assigning this to anything okay that's because this is df3 okay 
okay so if you see here right for is junior it is true uh, for the other positions it is false but just for a true or false actually python is very intelligent to understand when to populate the true and when to populate the false values you don't have to write this big statement for that okay if there is simple condition where based on that if you wanted to populate true or false then you can easily say this way df3 dot with column is junior okay now what is the condition this is the condition correct if the column designation equal to equal to junior you have to put true otherwise false now let's put show here you can see here right so it is intelligent enough to understand what to populate so by default here this is a condition so it will understand that okay these people are trying to execute that like evaluate that condition whether it's true or false for if it is junior because it is true for this uh, column this condition it is populating true here and for this it is false it is populating false here so instead of using the when otherwise if it is very simple uh, condition you can have and also okay after that you can have some any and conditions and all but if the result is you are ask, you are asking to populate true or false right so instead of when condition you can try this way also okay hope this is clear to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you